Azerbaijan's attack on the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic was thoroughly planned. There is solid evidence that proves this. On September 24th, the BBC's Russian service reported that a sudden mobilization of reservists had begun in Azerbaijan, which was extended to two months instead of the previously announced 15 days. The mobilized were called to military commissariats and immediately sent to military exercises. Concurrently, civilian vehicles were being gathered. Moreover, the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Azerbaijan did not omit from its announcement that the vehicles were being recruited for military purposes. Pickup trucks were confiscated and parked in squares by police. Last week, the international media was actively circulating information that Turkish militants were being transferred to Azerbaijan to take part in hostilities against Armenia. The information on the number of militants and their salaries vary from source to source. For example, in her Twitter microblog, well-known German journalist Lindsay Snell mentioned that the militants of the Hamza Union, mainly an Arab Turkmen armed group, moved to the capital Baku via Turkey. The journalist also noted that the militants are mainly being transferred from Syria. Apart from that, she published a recording which states that about 1,000 militants will be transferred to Azerbaijan between September 27th and 30th. Another entity close to the Turkish-backed Syrian National Army has also stated that Turkey had promised to pay $1,800 to each militant destined for Azerbaijan. According to the information, the SNA sent several groups of militants to Azerbaijan. At the same time, over the past month, flights of Turkish cargo warplanes to Azerbaijan have reached an unprecedented level. These movements by the Turkish Air Force had most probably one main goal, to supply military equipment to Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijani side warned its population about the launch of military operations even on the eve of the offensive. On social media, videos calling for no footage to be taken showing the movements of Azerbaijani armed forces. Tural Ganjaliev, a member of the Azerbaijani parliament who is engaged in anti-Armenian activities, also called on people to not publish any photos and videos from the front line. Such actions make it obvious that the Azerbaijani side purposefully prepared for the attack and prepared its society for that. The video includes this quote, It is also forbidden to disseminate the photos of military and civil objects on the border and front line. Do not forget that the victory is born from unity. This is our way to Karabakh. Two days before the attack on September 25th, Azerbaijan refused the request of the personal representative of the OSCE chairman in office to conduct a monitoring mission on the front line, which plainly shows that the aim of Azerbaijan was to hide its plans of starting a war. Turkish media agencies have shown a masterclass of operative work. As soon as the military offensive started, Turkish media was already in place and were covering the events via live stream. At 8.13 a.m., TRT was already live, covering the events under the title The Attack by Armenia Against Azerbaijan. Under no circumstance could Turkish film crews reach Azerbaijan in one hour, move to the front line and start live coverage of events. These events were all accompanied by military rhetoric and calls for violence, both in the country and on the international arena. The Azerbaijani military and political authorities were openly speaking about attacks and the consequent cases of violence.